Hi Alex, good session today. Hope you found it helpful. And hope we'll be able to practice on the golf course later on. You had some success with these sloping light shots. As we said, with the ball now on a downhill slope, like so, we want to just set our spine angle now sort of perpendicular to the slope. So we're leaning down the slope. Most, if not all, your weight now it will be down onto this front foot, leaning down the slope. That's going to help you now get a more cleaner strike rather than catching the ground a little bit early or the tendency to sort of scoop and flick underneath it or maybe thin the ball across the green. If we look here on the left-hand side, you now you can certainly see sort of fairly sort of vertical spine there, which in relation to the slope we are on, is leaning back quite a bit. And what we'll see as the club comes into the hitting area now, although you got a quite a good shot because the ball was sort of sat well, as we said, trying to practice too much on good lies, we can see the club now as it comes through is actually brushing the ground quite a long way before the golf ball is struck. Now, on a good lie, as we saw, the ball did come out nicely. And it was a reasonable shot, as we see on the golf course time and time again. You rarely have a good lie. It's going to be sat down more often, not especially on a bank like so. So it's ensuring that we get ourselves over the golf ball now. So as the club then comes into the hitting area, it's coming down a little bit steeper, more in line with the angle of the slope rather than too shallow. So we make contact now. It's a cleaner strike. The ball now can come off using the full loft. Just thing to remember, though, if you've got a 56-degree sand iron, and you're on a slope that it's, say, roughly 20 degrees down, that's going to reduce the loft of your golf club by roughly about 20 degrees. So your 56-degree sand iron is now going to be more like a 36-degree sort of 7 iron there. So it's going to be more like a bump and run, even though you've got a lofty club in your bag. Likewise, when the slope is going the other way, and you're on an upslope of, say, 20 degrees, the ball now is going to come up a lot higher, so even with a pitching wedge with 45, 46 degrees, with a 20 degree increase in slope, that's going to be coming off at more like 66 degrees. So a pitching wedge could technically play a sort of high lofted soft shot, and then the sand iron could technically play a bump and run if the slopes you're on are conducive to that. So, as you said, thing to remember, one more thing as we said, sorry, slightly wider stance just to help you balance, but get your body weight now leaning with the slopes. So on downhill slopes, all your weight's on the front foot, on uphill slopes, all your weight's on the back foot. From now, I'm sure you have a lot more success chipping around the green. So, hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously, give me a shout, and I'll see you soon.